Welcome everyone. Today we will discuss how you can migrate or upgrade your Redis OSS workloads to your Elastic Hash File Key. We will explore the benefits of the, up of the upgrade, the process itself, and address common questions our customers have when upgrading the in-memory workloads. Valkey is the community replacement of the relicensed Redis database, which moved away from an open source licensing model last year. It is fully compatible with Redis OSS 7.2. The Valkey project is backed by the Linux Software Foundation with an open governance model. The Valkey project is continued to be maintained by the same individuals that were building Redis. Several of the previous Redis OSS core maintainers and many top contributors are now exclusively working on Valkey. It has a very active community that contributes to its continuous improvements and provides extensive support. Valky leads the way in terms of performance, reliability, and efficiency when compared to Redis OSS. The first release is 7.2, and the major version is within, within the months is Valky 8.2. The community recently launched uh, Valky 8.1. One of the flagship features of Valky 8.0 is its new multi-threaded architecture. While Valky already supports horizontal scaling as the recommended way to scale the system, many workloads require improved single shard performance. Systems with hot keys or those needing to access data across the slots benefit from higher per process throughput. I would actually go into the details on how the multi-threaded performance was improved. In Valky 7.2, the system processed I.O. requests in parallel, but once all the I.O. was done, all the threads synchronized and a single thread executed these commands. This implementation was simple, but it had scaling, limited scaling benefits. The I.O. threading was rewritten so that the I.O. threads can safely operate without synchronizing with the main threads. This change alone resulted in almost doubling the maximum throughput of the system while still maintaining the core command execution. Beyond this new architecture, the capabilities of IO threads were enhanced. They were now responsible for handling system polling events, parsing queries, and managing memory. The new architecture also better utilizes modern hardware, enabling memory prefetch while from multiple commands that have been read from the IO threads and pulling it into the L1 caches of the CPU for efficient executions. These operations delivered additional performance improvements. So the final um, result of all these innovations is that you can run up to a million RPS per node with Valky, achieving 230% improvement and 70% lower latency compared to the previous versions. This improved architecture is also memory efficient, reducing the overall memory usage by 20%. AWS launched Valky Engine for both managed services, Elastic Cache, and MemoryDB with substantial lower prices in October 2024. Both the services provide an online upgrade in just a few clicks, which basically makes them a drop-in replacement. With Elastic Cache, the pricing of serverless is lowered by 33% and 20% on node-based. With MemoryDB, it's launched at 30% lower pricing on the instance and 80% lower on data return charges. Both the services uh, allow for a zero downtime upgrade experience from Redis OSS to Valky. You can also switch the Redis OSS reserve nodes to Valky. Valky is based on the same source tree as Redis OSS, which is the version 7.2 and earlier. So upgrading or migrating from the Redis OS 7.2 is seamless. All of the API configurations, uh, the format for replication, the, con the commands, and the protocols and also the client libraries are fully compatible. So you could basically change your endpoint to Valky and continue to work with your existing clients. So 
what does an upgrade from elastic cache or memory db look like if you're running versions 5 6 or 7 for elastic cache you can directly upgrade to um, version 8.2 and similarly, if, memory, if you're running memory DB 6, 7, you could directly upgrade to the Valky 7.2 engine. If you're running self-managed workloads on uh, EC2 instances, and if you're running, say, version 3, you can still uh, upgrade those engine versions to the Valky 8.0. So let's look at how do we do an upgrade. I have a couple of slides to go over this, but I'll also have a demo to kind of show how seamless and how the cluster can be online while we are running this upgrade process. Um, as a step number one, you would basically go into the red existing elastic cache on the console, um, pick the instance that you want to upgrade from Redis OSS to Alki, hit modify. Um, and when you hit modify, you will change the engine version from Redis to Valky. This also lets you select the version if you want to do uh, 7.2 or 8.0. Now the cluster goes into a modifying state. This means the cluster is still active and you can still run your um, workloads as is. A couple of things uh, to note though is let is that let's understand what happens behind the scenes. Um, we, when we are doing an upgrade, we basically, for a cluster, whether you're running cluster mode disabled or cluster mode enabled, we kind of do an N plus one switch. We, if you have a cluster, let's say, uh, with one primary and two read replicas, and we bring another three nodes, um, sync, the existing cluster data with the new nodes and then add them back into your cluster bus and then we disconnect the existing nodes so from and we do this with the replicas first and finally to the primary instances so your rights are minimally impacted um, the cluster still remains online as you can observe during this process, the nodes are switched. Um, so there is a change in the node IP addresses. As long as your applications have retry logic with exponential backoff, they can reconnect or refresh the cluster topology and get the new IP addresses update their DNS cache, your cluster can still continue to be online. There are multiple strategies in addition to the one that I just showed you for upgrading your workloads from Redis to Valky. Um, you could always select to do rolling updates, please stand up a new uh, Valky cluster and start sending your rights to the Valky cluster. And once you're um, when, and in parallel to your Redis clusters and then just switch your application endpoints to only read and write from your Valky clusters. If you have an option to kind of um, stop your applications or pause your traffic, you can always take a backup of your existing Redis OSS cluster and create a new cluster with this backup, create a new Valky cluster with this backup. If either of the previous migration strategies do not meet your requirements, there are also third party solutions that we can suggest. Please do reach out to your account teams if you would like to get more information around these third party migration tooling. So I'll talk to you about an upgrade process uh, if you're already running Elastic Cash. Say you have workloads that are being self-managed on EC2, um, Redis or Valky, and you want to move them over to Elastic Cache um, cluster. Or you can also so you're also considering moving or migrating over third-party managed Redis OSS um, solutions or so workloads to Elastic Cache serverless. These are the common paths wherein customers do ask us and how should the upgrade process run like. Let's talk about a few options for both these scenarios. One approach to migrating over your existing Redis deployment to your Elastic Cache is to leverage the native backup and restore features. You can restore the data from a Redis RDB file to a new cluster at any time. The uh, Elastic Cache restore process supports 
and upgrading from an Redis cluster mode um, cluster to a cluster mode and enable cluster. You can also migrate one or more RDB files that created from the self-managed Redis OSS clusters to a single Elastic Cache while key cluster mode enable clusters. When you create a new Elastic Cache clusters, you can seed it with the uh, Redis OSS RDB backup file. Seeding is very useful if you can current if you currently manage the Redis instance outside of Elastic Cache and want to populate your new Elastic Cache with, while key clusters with the existing uh, Redis OSS workloads that are self managed on EC2. So another approach is that you can also use the online migration tool. The online migration tool uh, gives you an op my option to migrate your self-managed Redis OSS workloads into a self-designed Valky cluster. Um, it replicates the data in real time. It supports an ability to test the data migration. You can monitor the health of the cluster before and um, during and after the migration. And it also lets you decide when to cut over to the migrated cluster. You just have to ensure that you have enough um, CPU and memory and both source and targets to kind of additional loads and replicate the data from um, self-managed Redis OSS to Elastic Cache. Now let's look at the demo of how the cluster is still active during the overall upgrade process. Here I, here I have a cluster test upgrade, which is running engine version 6.2.x, engine is Redis OSS. Um, it's a cluster mode enabled cluster. I have two shards and each shard has one read replica. So I have four nodes in total. I have multi-AZ enabled, um, and this is my configuration endpoint. So let's now go in, hit modify, and we change the engine version here to 8.0. I can pick 8.0 or 7.2. I just changed the engine name to Valky. 8.0 is the most recent version um, of Valky available with Elastic Hash. I do not have to change anything else. Um, and I preview the changes. And I can select when I want to apply these changes. You can configure it to kind of be applied to your cluster immediately. Um, and I click this. Now my cluster goes into a modifying state. In this state, the cluster, as I mentioned, is still active and I can still send load. Um, get do sets, cats. Um, watch out for those occasional moved errors when the node IP changes, but as long as the um, applications can reconnect, you still have a active cluster. We do recommend to have um, from a best practices for your client um, to ensure that you have retries, reconnects if the node is unavailable, exponential back off, um, set your connection timeouts. Um, also ensure that you have a dynamic cluster topology refresh. So if the topology of the cluster changes, um, your application is still available highly. While my cluster is in a modified state, I'm going to run a quick benchmark. Um, so what I'm doing here, I'm running uh, 10 different 10 clients of Valky Benchmark. Um, this is a standard benchmark utility that you can use. Mine is a cluster mode enabled, so I add the dash dash cluster and running two parallel threads and 100,000 requests. Um, so as you can see, the cluster is, um, the Valky Benchmark is sending the cluster active gets and set requests there's um it's it's it got it's gonna run um multiple commands since i haven't actually specified any um it's now running sets so the data is being loaded into the cluster and it also is gonna do get so there's a series of commands this benchmark utility runs while the cluster is still in a modifying status and once the modifying status uh, once the cluster is completed the 
upgrade for all the nodes in in the cluster then it would automatically go into an available state but you would see it under the elastic cache valky oss valky caches so it's still running um different redis command or redis oss commands um like alpha i think it did a push we're also running through different um all different data structures you could test with the valky benchmark now doing sets once the cluster does become available, you would see it. We now have a Valky OSS cache cluster available for you to work with. Hope this video is helpful and um, look forward for your questions. Please feel free to reach out to your account teams if you have any more follow-up questions on the upgrade process. Thank you again.